Welcome to Jom Study Learn YouTube channel. Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your studies. Today's lesson is reviewing first year exam questions. In actual fact, multiple choice question consists of 40 questions. But we have split into two parts, part one and part two. And today we're going to discuss about the exact questions for spring 2020, part one of two. Without further ado, let's begin. Question number one, a mixture of ice and water is left to stand and the ice melts. Which row describe what happened as the ice is melting? The answer for this is D. Temperature of the mixture will be stay the same and the energy changes is energy is used to overcome attractive forces. And question number two, which piece of apparatus is used to measure 25 centimeter cube of aqua sodium hydroxide? So the answer for this is number D. Number three, paper chromatography is used to determine the R1 value for four different food coloring. Which food coloring has an R value of 0 0.6? If you look at here, if to get the retention factors is a distance from baseline to center of spot divided by distance of solvent from the baseline. So from here is given the R value or retention factors value is 0 0.6. And we want to know about the distance of solvent from the baseline. What you got to do is the distance from baseline to center of spot will be 0 0.6 times 25 will be 15. So the answer for this is C is 15. Number four, the diagram show the electronic structure of a particle with a nuclear number, which is mass number of 40. The table show the suggestions that three students, one, two, three, made to identify the particles. Then we have the particle here is argon, chlorine, and calcium. And so based on this, which student are correct? which have the mass number of 14. In this case, you might see that again, the mass number is 14. And also, the calcium, the mass number is 14. The answer for this is B. Number five is the electronic structure of two atoms, P and Q, are shown. P and Q. P and Q combine together to form a compound. What is the type of bonding in the compound and what is the formula of the compound? So the answer for type of bonding, we might see that this category will be type ionic bonding. And the formula for this is P, Q. The answer for this is A. Number six, which a statement about the structure of a metal explain why metals are malleable. Metals are malleable because metal consists of layer of atom that slide over one another. So the answer for this would be B. The bonding structure and melted point of sodium chloride and sulfur dichloride are shown. Why the sulfur chloride dichloride have a lower melting point than sodium chloride? The answer for this would be D. The attractive forces between molecule in sulfur dichloride are weaker than the ionic bonds in the sodium chloride. 
lead to nitrate, which is PbNO3 in bracket 2, react with potassium iodide, Ki, to form a yellow precipitate, PbI2, and a soluble salt, KNO3. So what is the equation for the reaction? So the lead nitrate of PbNO3 in bracket 2 react with potassium iodide. So you can see from this, from the above explanation or formula or the reaction, causing exchange of iron between the reactants, leading to the formation of potassium nitrate, which is KNO3, and a yellow precipitate of lead iodide, which is PbL2. So the answer for this would be um, is D. Number nine, the Hubble process is a reversal reaction of N2 in a form of gas plus 3H3H2 3H2 in a form of gas to form ammonia 2 and H3 in a form of gas. The reaction has 30% yield of ammonia, which volume of ammonia gas and H3 measured at room temperature and pressure is obtained by reaching 0.75 mole of hydrogen with excess nitrogen. From the equation above, we can see that N2 plus 3H2 to form 2NH3. So we can see that 3 mole of hydrogen produce 2 mole of ammonia. Hence, if 0 0.5 mole of hydrogen were produced, 2 over 3 times 0 0.75, and we get 0 0.5 mole of ammonia, NH3. Based on the, the question, 30% of ammonia produced. So in that case, we know that 30 over 100 multiplied by 0 0.5 mole ammonia, we get about 0 0.50, 0 0.50 moles. Formula to calculate gas equation is PV equals to nRT, where P is actually represent pressure, which is equivalent to default value is 180 m. V is then for volume, which we have to find the value. M is actually the number of mole. So in this case, we already calculated is 0 0.5 moles. And R is actually gas constant. And given gas constant default is 0 0.08 to 1 LATM slash K mole. And the temperature, T is actually represent the temperature equivalent to 273 K. So based on formula that we want to find the, the value of V. So when we find the actual formula is PV equals to M multiplied by R multiplied by T. So if we want to get the value of V, so we get M multiplied by R multiplied by T divided by P. So in this case, we get 0 0.15, which is the number of mole, multiplied by 0 0.08 to 1 LATM times 273K, and we have to divide it by P. P in this case is pressure is only 1 ATM. So we get the value of 3.361995 liter. So when we convert liter to centimeter cube, it becomes 3,362 centimeter cube. So the nearest that we can see here, the answer would be A, 3,600 centimeter cube. Number 10, Electrolytes can be broken down by electrolysis. Which row are correct for each electrolytes? So we can see that the row that, re that represent electrolyte is number one and number two. 
So the answer for this would be A. 11. Chlorine reacts with ethane to produce chloroethane and hydrogen chloride. We can see from this equation, the reaction is azothermic. So the bond energies are shown in the table. So when we can see the azothermic, the value must be negative. How to get the formula to get energy change? Energy change will be energy in minus energy out. So in this case, we have CH. CH in this case is a represent of 410 plus chlorine 2. That means we have 240. 240 minus energy out. Energy out we have CCL which is 340 plus HCL 430. So we get 650 minus 770 energy up. We get the value if negative 120 kilojoule. So the answer for this would be B. Methane burn in excess oxygen. The equation is CH4 plus 2O2 to form CO2 plus 2H2O. So in this case, we're using the same formula. Energy change is equal to energy in minus energy out. So we have these are the energy in and these are the energy out. So from this formula, we have CH4 plus 2O2 minus CO2 plus 2H2O. So in this case, we have 4 times CH, which is 410, plus 2 multiplied by O2, which is 496. This is the value, 496. And we have minus CO2, means that 2 times CO805, plus this is 4 times times uh, OH, okay, OH, then we have 4, 6, 0. That's why the answer for this would be 4 times 4, 1, 0, plus 2 times 4, 9, 6, minus 2 times 8, 0, 5, plus 4 times 4, 6, 0. So the answer for this will be A. Which statement about hydrogen fuel cells are correct. So water is formed as the only waste product and the overall reaction is 2H2 plus O2 to form 2H2. So the answer will be A. Which list contain all the chemical changes? So energy is absorbed or released in a chemical reaction which causes a change in the temperature. So during this production of heat, or increase in the temperature is one of the indicator of exothermic reaction, while the absorption of heat or decrease in the temperature is an indicator of endothermic reaction. Different indicators can occur depending on the product, form, and the type of chemical reaction. So some examples of exothermic reactions are decomposition, combustion, neutralization, and polymerization, and many other reactions. So the most suitable answer for number 14 would be C. So this topic refer to the exothermic chapter on chemical reaction. Solid act is seated strongly, and the color of the solid changes from blue to white. Why? is solid X. The answer for this would be when hydrated copper to sulfate is seated strongly, the color changes from blue to white due to loss of water. So the answer for number 15 would be C. 
methane the react with steam and an equilibrium is reached and the form reactions is endothermic which a row show how the amount of hydrogen at equilibrium changes when the pressure or temperature is changed as indicated. So, based on this report, it says that the activity result obtained in the steam methane reforming SFR at 500 and 600 Celsius, which is we can see that in terms of the temperature is increases. And it has the value of constant volume and total pressure. So that means there is increasing in terms of the temperature. In terms of the pressure is no change. And the amount of hydrogen will be decreased. The answer for this would be B. When aqua iron trichloride is added to aqua potassium iodide, a chemical reaction occurs and iodine is performed, which statement is correct. So when an iodide ions are oxidized, they gain electron in this reaction. So the answer for number 17 is A. The graph shows how the pH of the solution changes as an acid is added to an alkaline. So when acid plus alkaline to form salt and water, which letter represent the area of the graph which both acid and salt are present? When acid is added to an alkaline, solution will become acidic in nature. Thus, pH ranges fall below 7. So the most suitable answer for number 18 would be D. Which statement describes a weak acid? A weak acid it is a proton donor and is partially ionized in aqua solution. And the apparatus show is used to prepare aqua copper to sulfate. So copper oxide plus or react with sulfuric acid to form copper sulfate and water. And this is the chemical reaction. What are the X and Y? X is actually a copper oxide and it's react with the sulfuric acid to form copper sulfate and water. So the chemical reactions for number 20 will be CuO in a form of solid, react with sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4 in a form of aqua, and to form copper sulfate, copper sulfate which is CuSO4 in a form of aqua, plus water H2 or in a form of liquid. So the answer for this number 20 would be C. With that being said, I would like to wish you all the best in your studies. Please subscribe to John Stadilla YouTube channel and customized notes are available at https beacons.ai slash jomstadilla or you can access to Beacon, Beacon speech via Jom Stadilla Instagram. Last but not least, hope to see you in the next presentation. And by the way, please don't forget to subscribe to John Stadilla YouTube channel. Thank you.